Hey, this is Blake with Rogue Pet Science. I uh, just thought I'd share a quick story from this past week. So I got to go to a great event for a friend's new business that they're launching and got to meet a lot of cool people and have some cool conversations. And at one point it came up, you know, that I have a pet supplement company and immediately uh, this person said, oh, I have an older dog. I, I would do anything for him. Tell me all about your products. I'd do anything to have him live longer. And I said, whoa, <laughs> like uh, I would never claim that my product could make your dog live longer. And, and you know, I tried to explain real quick that Dog health is very complicated. Uh, you know, you have so many genetics, so much genetics at play there. And then within the, the category of dogs, you have different breeds. And within breeds, you have their own genetic issues. So uh, anyone claiming they can make your dog li live longer with a product or a diet, um, be very leery. That's a, it's a big red flag for, for me. Um, and I get why they're doing it. I mean, if they have a product to sell you, they want to use guilt and, and some of that pressure to make you feel like you're you're not, you're not a good owner if you don't take action or that you could be doing more for your dog. And I, we've never been about that. That's never been our, our goal or our desire is how we want to approach helping owners solve problems with their, their pet's nutrition and hopefully impact their health positively. So um, I tried to explain that a little bit and I thought I'd take a second and kind of share that here as well because, you know, for my myself, in my own health journey, my own uh, health progress you know I'm, I'm in my 40s now I'm going regularly to a doctor and having my blood checked and so much more of you know having a diet is important and you know measuring how much I'm eating is important and lowering my body weight is important and exercising regularly is important um, but what's really important is what I'm not eating right it's not so much about what I can eat uh, to improve my health it's more about what I'm avoiding eating and I think that's a super critical thing for people to understand as well as the body condition and exercise part of the equation so the things that we really want to focus on whether it's for ourselves or for our pets is getting them to a healthy body condition and then getting them regular exercise and then uh, on the nutritional side if we can focus on things that we know have health benefits which are again these are very limited um, but fish oil is a great one so getting their omega levels up to a high level is uh, associated with many positive health outcomes um, as well as things, you know, for ourselves, things like vitamin D, so that you can test that and see that you're actually reaching optimal levels for different health things. Um, but doing those things to optimize are great. Uh, again, what you're not eating is is more crucial. So overeating is a big problem, and it's a big problem with pets. And all of the diseases that we see in humans, we see in pets. They, they mirror our exact diseases, and that's uh, important to note. So you see a lot of metabolic problems like diabetes and overweight, you know, overweight pets and things like that. So the solution for their health is going to be very close to the solution of ours. We need to eat less. We need to exercise more. Um, I do think taking fish oil regularly is great, and, and you want to be doing that regularly. Um, that's why we focused on those things with our core products, so probiotic for gut health, things that we know are proven and that actually have good science behind the, uh, the health improvements they provide. So we're going to continue with our product line to focus on health span and, and actually creating measurable improvements to health for your pet. We are never, ever going to claim that our products are going to make your dog live longer. And companies that are claiming that can't back it up and they can't do the life studies to prove it. So just keep that in mind. Um, you, you're going to see all sorts of stuff. There's people really pushing hard uh, that different diets are going to extend the life of pets and the way they're going to do that is with anecdotal evidence with uh you know those type of stories but I, it's going to be hard to trust or or ever know if they i don't think they're ever going to be able to prove it um beyond you know owner surveys so until i see something more convincing uh i i, I always kind of leery of that We've definitely, in our time traveling, come across a lot of people who have fed raw, still had health problems, come across people that have fed completely raw and still lost dogs early to cancer. Um, and, you know, it just, it's it's painting a picture that nutrition is going to be the magic bullet for all of pet health, but it's really, that's a, it's a, it's not going to be the answer. So just keep that in mind. Uh, Focusing on making your pet as healthy as you can so that they can have a quality of life as long as possible, that should be the objective.